the Miami Dolphins have found ways to win and to lose, with one phase taking either the bulk of the credit or the brunt of the blame. This week, heading into Green Bay, uh, they had to face Aaron Rodgers, who he was questionable heading up into the week, and but it doesn't come as a surprise that Rodgers played. Um, but the Dolphins went in to Green Bay, and they beat the Packers in overtime. It was very, very impressive. Um, a kind of like a stunning stat is that the Dolphins are now 3-0 and on the road and 0-2 at home. And I don't know how this fares for next week in the take on Pittsburgh, who comes to Miami. That should be an interesting game. The hero of the game was uh, kicker Dan Carpenter, who not only booted them to victory in overtime, but had uh, several kicks to keep them in the game and to keep score close and to not let the Packers get too far ahead with help from their defense, who um, also welcomed back uh, linebacker Channing Crowder. Um, he was nursing a groin injury all season. He hadn't played. Um, he hurt in the preseason. He, didn't, he hasn't played in the regular season yet. But coming back into this game, he was very impressive. Um, you could tell he brought sort of energy to the defense, an energy that had been lacking, and it was very nice to see that. Um, and Cameron Wake had a great game. He sacked Rodgers three times, and they got just enough pressure on Rodgers in the past game to not let them beat them and to get get a big lead on them so that they kept the game close and ultimately the Dolphins won out. Um, on offense, um, Chad Henney and Brandon Marshall are finally starting to mesh. It looks very nice. And um, what can you say about Devon Best as well, who um, was actually just signed to a two-year extension? Um, you know, she, he is now the highest paid slot receiver in the NFL. Um, with with good merit as well because he's just been outstanding for the Dolphins. Um, since his first season, he wasn't really used as much. But last year, he started becoming a focal point in the offense. But this season, he has just kind of taken – he's just been taken to a new level. Um, the the offense looked a lot more impressive than they did um, against, the, um, against the Patriots before they went to the bye. Um, it was very nice to see that. Perhaps the most clutch moment on offense came in the fourth quarter – when the score was tied 13-13, and um, Chad Henney found Anthony Fasano um, on the sideline, and it's a clear lane into the end zone. Fasano ran 22 yards for the score, which um, gave the Dolphins lead. Um, fortunately, their defense could not stop Rodgers when it was fourth and goal on the one. They had a great stop. It was first and goal on the one-yard line, and then they stopped them, second goal, blah, blah, blah. They stopped them three times. They couldn't do the fourth, unfortunately. And Rodgers got the touchdown, the game went to overtime, but um, they Crowder had an amazing play in overtime that stopped um, Green Bay from driving and gave the Dolphins the ball back, and eventually they went down there, uh, and Carpenter booted them to victory. Um, it's a very impressive win for the Dolphins, who they needed this coming off of two division losses, kind of had their hopes down. Like winning a game like this, especially on the road, uh, where they've been impressive this season, it was very much needed. Um, Talking about um, this week's game, uh, Pittsburgh's coming to Miami on Sunday, and it's going to be another tough game with uh, Steelers getting Roethlisberger back. Um, Lee looked very impressive um, in his debut back against Cleveland. So that was Cleveland. Um, I think it's kind of hard to say because, um, I mean, not only Pittsburgh is a well-rounded team, especially on offense, because they had the run game going and getting Roethlisberger back they have the passing game now, so it's going to be hard. They're going to need to, the Dolphins are going to need to attack both phases of their offense, both components, and it's it's going to be interesting to see what the Dolphins can do to, uh, to stop them. Um, when the Dolphins are on offense, the Steelers have a great defense. Um, has also been another story for the um, Steelers are probably, in my opinion, the best team in the NFL right now, um, so this is a very important game, especially being 0-2 at home. This is a Good statement game for the Dolphins if they can go out and pull this out. But on offense, Chad Henney needs to not get, you know, not get scared. Don't make stupid decisions. Just, you know, pull the ball back, throw it out of bounds. You got plenty of time. There's, you know, you got four quarters to win this game. You don't need to rush it. I'm gonna go with the Dolphins to win this game. Um, I believe that they'll finally get back on track at home. And I mean, if they win this game, they're off to the races because. Pittsburgh struggled in the beginning to Cleveland, and Cleveland was able to score, and they were able to limit Pittsburgh on offense, but they weren't able to get away, and they allowed Pittsburgh to get the big lead and to 
put the game out of contention. And I think that the Dolphins can prevent that on both offense and defense. So um, I see the Dolphins getting their first home win of the season against the Steelers this Sunday. This has been Alyssa with Dolphins Dish. Have a great weekend and enjoy the game. Go Fins!